Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Nugget of the Day. In today's Nugget 6, we focus upon uh, the adjuvants in regional anesthesia and in particular dexamethasone. Now we often add adjuvants to our local anesthetic solutions to try and prolong the duration of analgesia because we don't want to put in uh, perineural catheters. Uh, recently, dexamethasone is one of the adjuvants which has shown considerable promise in uh, prolonging the duration of analgesia and different papers have shown that it does so by a factor of more than 50%. Uh, and this has been shown for interscaline blocks, supraclavicular block, and more recently tap block as well. Uh, so let's have a look at a couple of papers. This one particular paper uh, showing the effect of dexamethasone on the duration of uh, uh, the action of interscaline uh, blocks uh, was conducted by the authors in Cleveland Clinic in the US. Uh, it constituted of four different groups uh, in total having 218 patients uh, who were given interscaline block either using peripheral nerve stimulator or the ultrasound or using both. Now the four groups were using ropivacin alone or bupivacaine or combining it with 8 mg dexamethasone um, um, and then they studied uh, the primary endpoints uh, which was the duration of um, analgesia in their blocks and what they found was uh, that there was uh, an increment of uh, about a factor of almost 100% in the ropivacaine group uh, and more than 50% in the bupivacaine group. Um, and they also found that that was independent of whether you were using peripheral nerve stimulator or whether you were using uh, ultrasound uh, as well. So it stands valid for both techniques. Uh, recently, uh, dexamethasone has also been shown to prolong the duration of analgesia uh, in tap plane blocks. Uh, this paper published in the Saudi Journal of Anesthesia uh, constituted comparing two groups of 30 patients each uh, using uh, the ultrasound guided tap blocks giving 20 mils of 0.25% bupivacaine uh, and 20 mils of 0.25% bupivacaine plus 8 mg dexamethasone each side uh, in the second group. And what they found was the addition of dexamethasone improved the visual analog scale uh, at 2 hours, 4 hours and 12 hours but did not prolong so at 24 and 48 hours perhaps by that duration of time um, you know uh, the patients were not really having that much of pain um, anyway uh, they also found that the time for first analgesia was uh, prolonged by addition of dexamethasone uh, they found less morphine consumption although that was statistically signi significant but I don't really think so it was clinically significant uh, they also found less nausea and vomiting but again, they did not use any IV dexamethasone, which is generally a standard practice. So I would recommend you guys going into the details of this particular paper and finding it for yourself. Uh, the mechanism which have been proposed uh, by which dexamethasone prolongs analgesia has been one steroid induced vasoconstriction around the nerves. Um, and the second one is that increasing the activity of inhibitory potassium channels on no nociceptive C fibers and therefore uh, improving uh, analgesia. However, there are a few uh, still, you know, there are a few unknowns um, in this recent addition to regional anesthesia. First of all, we don't know whether this dexamethasone is acting systemically or locally, and therefore uh, you need a clinical trial where the addition of dexamethasone uh, in the block needs to be compared uh, with uh, no uh, dexamethasone in the block. And thirdly, it needs to be compared with IV dexamethasone. That would give us some perspective whether IV dexamethasone alone can prolong the block or not. Uh, second, we yet don't know the potential for neurotoxicity. Although dexamethasone has been used for a number of years in uh, chronic pain practice, however, uh, short-term uh, neurological effects of dexamethasone are known and it's pretty safe, but long-term sequelae are not really known. And that too in population which does not suffer from chronic pain. You know, uh, our patients are coming for elective surgeries and that constitutes a different population from the chronic pain population. And lastly, there is requirement of further animal studies, uh, you know, to show whether dexamethasone per se has got uh, uh, neural complications or not, neurotoxicity or not. And that is what we need. So we need to be a bit careful at uh, extrapolating the results uh, of these clinical trials into our day-to-day -day practice. Uh, so that is it, folks. Uh, until next time, adios amigos. Take care.